All right, ladies, gentlemen, gamers, Overwatch enthusiasts, welcome back. We are here yet again for the second time today, reacting to more Overwatch. And boy, oh boy, did I pull some strings, did I suck some dick in the corner. Yet again, I seem to have been graced with the presence of Jeff Kaplan. Again. Once again. Jeff Kaplan. Hello there, Jeff Kaplan. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. How are you doing today? You have a dead channel. I'm good, I'm good. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, Jeff Kaplan. So today we're going to be reacting to the number eight trending video, the season one trailer for Overwatch 2. There's been some controversy that I've already went over with Jeff Kaplan over here. You can watch that also on my YouTube channel. Uh, but we're going to see what's in the season one battle pass, assumingly, what they're going to change, what's going to basically come out with the game. We're going to see if it's any good. And we got Jeff Kaplan here to kind of react to what the team did without him in his absence are you ready yeah, jeff did. kaplan yeah yeah you know I, i'm expecting some good work uh there's some smart people there okay. not as smart as me yeah yeah um, of course yeah but you know they're smart uh -huh. um they passed their uh their regions oh so they you know did. yeah yeah i mean they cheated off me but continue okay all right well let's see the video already i see something i like Ooh! oh oh Oh, the new Genji skin. Okay. Let's get this. Oh yeah, let's go. Where's my money gonna go? Ooh, three new heroes at launch. We thought it was gonna be six. Let the Kitsune guide you. Let the Kitsune guide you. Over eighty free premium rewards. Holy shit! Oh, oh, pizza! Pizza, wow. I'm hungry. What the hell was that soldier skin? Is that how he normally looks now? Yeah. Oh, ew! What the hell was that? Ew! Oh, that was cool. What the hell? Oh, yeah, look, sprays. We like those. Icons, yes. That Genji skin is so hot. Holy shit. Oh my I god, he's it. screaming. Oh, it finally changed the effects. Cool. Yeah. Oh shit. That's a hot skin. The world could always. That's hot too. Wait, these are these are really good. Holy shit! What the hell? Oh, she's like, no, get back here, ball. This is not the end. Oh shit! Rise up. Uh -oh. Something else is rising. Oh, that right now. was that was fucking Kiriko. Ew. Yeah. I did not know who that was. Look at that ass. Oh my god. Oh yeah, look at this. Get fucking Dumbo number one and Dumbo number two. Wow. What a trailer. What a trailer. Yeah. So, I agree. So I'll, let's start with you, Jeff Kaplan. What did you think of what the team has, has done for the launch of the game since your absence? Um, so you want me to answer this? Um, just, you know, not comparing them to my work or just on their own? On their own, on their own. Obviously, were, nothing was, could match it, it up was, to your work. It was really good. It was really, really good. Uh-huh. Uh, definitely got me hyped for the game. Uh-huh, good, um, good. The Genji skin, um... Which, you know, I personally wanted him to have a dildo sword, but they didn't put that in. Oh, wow. Uh, so, you know, a little behind the scenes fact. Oh, um, damn. Thank you. Thank you. But honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Oh, okay. What do you think that, uh, I mean, Technics channel? Um, honestly, just skimming through it again, you know, new heroes. We do have three new heroes. Assuming you weren't lucky enough to get into the beta. I think there's a good selection here, a new DPS, a new tank, new healer, so there is something for everyone. It is sad that the DPS and the tank are unlocked automatically, and the healer you kind of, you know, either have to pay money or grind for. You know, Junker Queen instant unlock, but Kiriko, you know... Oh, wait, wait, Kiriko is a free instant unlock for Overwatch 1 players. Yeah, uh, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, it says it right here. The question is... Like, I, I, I have no idea, honestly. Oh, wow. I, so I guess, you know, if you played Overwatch 1, 
you know, you have all three new new heroes from from each class, so it's catering to everyone. The biggest thing, obviously, is the battle pass here. Um, I mean, obviously, this skin is a filler skin. What is it? Fucking Smokey the Bear McCree, like Forest Ranger. Like no one cares. I, mean, I like that show, so I appreciate you know if you don't. Uh, I apologize. I apologize, Def Kappa. Oh, no, okay, it's strike one only. Okay, all right. Like souvenirs. What what are souvenirs exactly? Do you know what those are, Jeff Kaplan? Did they tell you before you left? Did you did you no, make those? No, no, no. I had I honestly have no clue what, uh, what the fuck that is. I don't really <laughs> like this. It makes me a little fucking angry. So, you see, what, like they say, new cosmetics. We have this trash ass brig skin. What is this? Like I mean, what is this? This looks like regular brig. I mean, it's nice. Look at her shield. It's a nice shield. Okay, different shield, regular, br okay. And then we have weird, like, soldier. I, like, what do they do to him? He looks like a punk. He got older, man. He looks like a freaking punk. I mean, he's like a bear you're... mauled his face. Uh, 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 you know, I, I kind of agree with you. So, upgrade to premium. So, already they're telling you th this is something I don't like with Blizzard. I'm pretty sure, you know. In your time at, at Overwatch team, you dealt with this a fair amount of Blizzard kind of forcing the Overwatch devs to be greedy. But at this point, I don't know if it's, you know, if it's Blizzard or what, but like, I, I feel like they really want me to buy the battle pass. Like, I mean, look at this instant unlock. See, I don't understand. What game would not want you to buy their battle pass? I mean, true, but this is a season one trailer, not a battle pass specific trailer. If they release a Battle Pass specific trailer, then... I mean, but also, like, they are taking a, a old game and they're just pretty much updating it, right? Um, so... Well, yeah, but they're marketing this as a new game. So, it's not Overwatch so, 1, it's Overwatch 2. You know, and... See, like, know, this skin, this is cool. EDM Diva. That's cool. I don't know what this is supposed to be. This thing gives me nightmares. I don't like this. I mean, I like it. I, I do not like this. I mean, I don't think you have good taste, but you know. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I mean, this skin's cool. I like this. It gives me Rambo vibes. Yeah. This one's really cool. It's you like know, a Gundam. Um, it's a Gundam freaking, uh, Farrah. It's cool. Yeah, okay. I don't like this, though. I don't like charms. I feel like they're adding just a lot of nonsense into the battle pass because they need to make up tiers for the battle pass. Every battle pass does this, but I'm going to complain about it in every single one. Now, so the biggest else? thing, mm -hmm. the Genji skin, I think it's this cool. Good. I think it's really cool. I just hope they don't put mythic skins in the shop. I really don't. I hope they remain battle pass exclusive only. Well with why why is that though exactly because why? i feel like at that point if they put it in the shop the battle pass ones are going to get worse because then they can overprice it in the shop and make them better than the battle pass one but doesn't fortnite do the same thing no i can i can accurately and honorably say i don't know if you've ever played it jeff kaplan but i can honestly say the fortnite skins both in the battle pass obviously there's always going to be skins that aren't that good but the skins in the battle pass and in the shop, I would say, are pretty much of equal quality. So there's there's gonna be good skins in so, both. But that see, once again, like what what are you trying to say? Because in Fortnite, they have skins in there that are really high skins, and they also have really high skins in the in the fucking uh mark in the shop, right? Yes. So, so here's what I'm saying. Because Overwatch is a different game at its core, at its core, right? Fortnite, you technically, you choosing a different skin, you can use any skin for, any, for your character, right? You're basically playing the same person. The skin doesn't change anything. For Overwatch, let's just say I'm a soldier main, right? And let's just say I don't want to pay a lot of money. I have like 10 bucks. I could buy the battle pass. But then the one mythic skin they release for Soldier is in the shop for $25. At that point, I'm going to feel kind of fucked because I want it to be Battle Pass exclusive. And at that well, point, I have to shell out $25, not $10. Well, well what about... So, I, I think I understand what you're trying to say. 
what if every battle pass has a specific mythic skin, but they have other mythic skins in the shop? Then it would be fine as um, long as every hero can have a mythic skin from the battle pass. I'm okay with that. See, that 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 see that, that sounds fair because I thought what you meant was only mythic skin only season pass. No, well I meant that at first because it's with the assumption that if they take the time cuz I'm assuming these take a lot of time to make. Obviously I'm not a developer like you Jeff Kaplan, but it's definitely not. I I know. But you yeah. know, I'm assuming these take time to make so they're not going to pump these out too frequently, especially for the same character. So let's just say one comes out for soldier and it's in the shop, it's in the paid cosmetic shop and not the battle pass. I'm assuming we're not going to see one in the battle pass or a different one in the shop for a long time. Yeah. My fear is that because this is only one mythic skin, how long are people going to have to wait to get to be lucky to get one for, for their character? Yeah. I I agree. I think I mean again, this is this is another fear I have with the season 1 uh Battle Pass with the Battle Pass and Overwatch in general. I feel like aside from the cosmetic side, which it's decent, right? We haven't seen the past, but even from what they've shown, there's some pretty okay skins in here. Like, again, like I said before, not all the skins are going to be desirable. That's fine. We expect that. We're going to assume some skins are either going to be not to our liking or just kind of trash because, you know, they need to just fill the pass if they have 80 plus tiers. That's fine. However... My whole thing is, aside from the cosmetic side, they're tying their release model of content to the season passes. So that means, essentially what I'm saying is, if they're releasing with the model of, you know, every other battle pass gets a, a character, and then the one that doesn't have a character has a map, if it's only one, and then they do the same thing with the Mythics, where it's only one per pass, I feel like they're going to be drip-feeding us content at a pace we're not going to be happy with. Yep, Maybe agree. for the character, you could give it a pass. I can understand the character every other pass. But if it's one map and one mythic every pass, I don't think that's enough. I don't think that's enough. Okay, okay. But anyway. So, uh, let's give this a 1 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, I would say rating this overall. See, and there's a free limited time event. I don't know. I guess, again, we're, we kind of went into the battle pass too much. I guess just overall, though, for season 1... Honestly, I'm thinking, you know, I still don't think it's too far off from Overwatch. I still think it's going to be fun. It's going to be Overwatch. But it's a fresh new new coat of paint, essentially. It's going to feel a little different. It's going to feel like, you know, you put your car in the shop, you got it back with some modifications. I'm going to give this a solid, like, 7 out of 10. I'm not expecting it to be amazing, but it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. Uh-huh. So, I don't want you to have a higher rank than me so i'm gonna go 7.1 okay all right all right i understand that jeff kaplan anyway jeff kaplan thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule uh even though we have no clue what you're doing now because you're not on the overwatch team anymore but don't we i'm not questioning you i'm just stating that i know what you're doing is very important because only you would only do important things like solving world hunger and stuff Oh, I'm trying to make me blush.